I like explosions, the same way every other pyrotechnic that exists do as well, but I also enjoy the idea of creating a fiery chain reaction of explosions that can lead to building back up full ability shortly and then building your super up in seconds after. Ultimately, I found a build that fits like it that uses the new mod very effectively around this. Now let me just say that this is a very, and I mean very basic build to use that only requires two things to keep the flow of everything going. So if you are expecting something extremely complicated via the elemental worlds and the two of flames, then you're fresh out of luck. But don't worry, as I have a few stasis builds you guys will like instead. For the more civilized bunch, you can whack this on and have a great time with it, and I won't judge you, I promise you. Although I do expect a little shout out if you get carried away. If you like fire and explosions but can't be bothered with the long complications around it, then you're in the right place as I've got something that will blow you off your feet. So before we head in, if you enjoyed the video then I'd really appreciate a like and a sub as it does go a long way for me. Let's start with a subclass which will be the Attunement of Flames, and this subclass will allow you to gain your explosions back and forth with your melee and grenades, to harness the elemental wells that will be reduced midway. Igniting Touch allows you to burn a target via melee, and then upon death will detonate into a fireball that can take others out as well. This however can also trigger and cause your grenades to do the same thing, although not stated in the explanation, and this is how you can create around 4 plus elemental wells in one. You see, with the Bountiful Well mod, this mod will allow you to produce more wells upon activation depending on how many you have. Now I have 2 attached, so I can produce 2 wells in one activation, and with the Elemental Ordnance and Melee Wellmaker mods, we can produce 2 sets of wells each from both of them. This will grant us energy back as well upon them being used, as there's no cooldown upon this, so once you get a full charge again, you can repeat this as many times as you like. Now to be safe and also quite reasonable, I've also attached the Dawn Chorus Exotic for that extra flare and damage, which works perfectly for the super, but I also got a bit of extra melee energy out of this as well upon burning targets. Now you can see the wider picture of where this goes, as long as we net a kill through one of our charge abilities, we can return energy back to us and reuse it as many times as you like. Great for teams, but mainly great for you. Now I would say that it's also best you don't forget to not have the Weller Potency mod active, as this mod here will grant us super energy as well from wells that are being collected. Now put two and two together and you can become unstoppable. Well, kind of, as there are some limitations, but you get the drift once you get into it. Now for weaponry, you want to have at least one or even two weapons with the Demolicious perk so you can refill your grenade easily, as our subclass doesn't have any sort of synergy going this way. The best weapon I could find for this is the new Chrysera Milo AR and I have the tier 3 version which offers me more perks to mix and match with. Luckily, I managed to get one with the demo perk and in general some good perks to use. Now how you go about using your weaponry will depend on how much synergy you're going to be after and where you plan to use it the most. For example, this weapon is perfect for giving me the necessary energy for my grenades where my discipline fails to reach that. I can use this weapon and build in most end game, including the ones with champions involved as everything here will allow me to achieve that. That's what my idea of the build will come from. However, you can swap it out for the player's lance as it interacts with Dawn Core's burn effect and will grant you midi energy through this method alone. But this will mean your grenades won't have much effect when out and about, and the majority of wells will come from midi kills only. You'll also not be able to take this into most endgame content as you won't have any champions mods that correspond with it, but this shouldn't stop you so much. I say give it a try and see how it works out for you, as you never know. My primary now is the fame or infamous Bastion, which is helpful for taking out large combatants within a few shots or destroying most enemy shields in a single burst. Although having another weapon with demolitionist would be ideal, this will vary on how high your discipline stat is as just one demo perk is enough if you have a 60 and above stat. The point of Bastion now is to allow me to destroy big meaty targets in one or multiple bursts and this has proven very useful. For example, against an anti-barrier or overload I can easily stun them long enough to pull off enough damage to finish them off which helps when not needing to use the following anti mons to basically damage them in the first place. Of course, this will become more redundant over time against champions at much higher levels. It also comes with the incendiary unstoppable to it, so I can easily stop those type of combatants with a single burst and just go from there. It feels well suited for the build as it acts like a shotgun but has better range and stopping power compared to others. Without it, I found the build to be lacking in purpose as I've not found any alternatives that can fit that role perfectly. Nonetheless, the weapon has its place in everyone's heart as it will carry you far and wide. 
for a heavy, I just need you to collect a measure for its simple and basically basic perks. Although not so the focus, a lot of the high-end content I played had a lot of void shield combatants that I had to face, so I needed something with a good magazine size and damage to help out along the way. If I wasn't using Bastion, then I would swap out 2000 Voices instead, or the Ascendancy Rocket Launcher, which both have some good synergy between them all. For your stats, you want to aim as much points into your Discipline and Strength stats as these two will be used hand in hand. Don't worry so much about your intellect as this will be tied into your other two stats via mods being used, but your main focus is the two areas shown on the screen as the majority of your synergy is coming from there. For Discipline, I have mine at 50 as I have the demo perk available, which will actively grant me grenade energy as I get kills. Alongside that, we have the Elemental Ordnance mod for the ability to create walls from grenade kills, grenade kickstart, and innovation. All of these will grant us a healthy amount of ability energy pack upon activation. Your strength now will be a little more higher as the subclass and sort of being used heavily prompt the user to use a melee as much as they can. At 70, this should be more than enough for a passive return in energy every time we net a kill via this one method. Alongside this, we then have the melee wallmaker mod that will allow us to produce wells via melee, the same way that ordnance works. But except from that, you don't need to invest in any other mods for further investments. Remember, your Zotic will be actively giving you back 3 melee energy every time you get a target burnt. This includes your grenade, so the interaction between the two are there. Now, as mentioned earlier, we will be using wells to not only build up energy, but also build up super energy as well. For this, it makes sense to use the hands-on mod for super energy via melee kills, and ashes to assets for super energy via grenade kills. We can narrow this down further and have two of the same mods for an increased benefit, but this will ultimately tie down into what type of playstyle you want to play. Safe to say, going with the first method is best and most efficient way of going about this, I would say. And then to top this all off, we have the Wild of Potency mod, which will allow our wilds to grant us super energy upon collecting them. Although small in the amounts it gives, it still adds up when combined with the other super mods to the mix. And don't forget, you need two Bountiful Wild mods if you want to make the most of the build. Now, as I've covered a few of the mods we are using, here's what it's like once it's been compiled. For Head, we have Minor Strength, Ashes to Assets, Hands On, an Elemental Orders mod. Arm, we have Minor Discipline, Grenade Kickstart, a Mini Wellmaker mod. For Chest, we have Strength, Cooker Stamina Times 2, and Bountiful Well mods. For Leg, we have Minor Intellect, Innovation, Fusion Rifle Scavenger, and Bountiful Well mod. Bond, we have Resilience, Perpetration, and Well of Potency mod. So, going back to the question of explosions, do you like them? If yes, then this build will have you fully set up to cause juicy, flammable chain reactions from here all the way to sundown. You have your melee that can cause a mighty explosion in one hit, and then you have your grenade that can cause an explosion in one hit as well. And then of course you have your super that can cause even more explosion from its fiery pits. It's like playing hot potato with an active grenade, which I'm sure not many of you have tried before, but it will definitely blow you out of this world. Now, with the power of the melee, grenade, and the holy spirit, you too can become a true martyr in the eye of others, and trust me this setup will keep you minted throughout the all missions you take part in. Each powered ability used will grant us wells times 2, which don't have a long cooldown from what I've experienced. This means no matter how many times we get ourselves fully charged, we can keep producing more and more wells as long as we take out just one single combatant in action. Doing this now will grant us ability energy and super energy all in one, and if you ever look at the rate this baby goes, when you make it rain, it goes hard. Now, you do have to juggle around to keep this balance going, as your grenades won't always be around, and the amount of energy you get back on some combatants won't always fill you up straight away. This is mainly problematic when facing majors, as they are between a easy to take on, but also tanky in their health. A single melee or grenade won't outright kill them all the time, so you will have to weaken them slightly to get this all working. And the harder the content, the harder it becomes to pull this off more and more. Take master content where you need to be a bit more strategic in loadout. The combatants will have a mix of everything, so you need to plan out your setup effectively if you want to net the big load. Of course, doing high-end content with this could also be a breeze as long as you know what you're doing and you have an effective team to back you up. The world you can create can help your team with getting their abilities up quickly when they need that little push here and there. And the orbs you create can help your team out in long and sluggish missions. At the end of the day, the build will, and has, its place and uses depending on where you use it the most. Using this as a crowd controller is the best place it will fit in the most, as you can really make it shine like the star it is, while also hearing the sounds of explosions you go by. 
If this sounds interesting in any sort of way and you truly want to have literally TNT for hands, then give this bad boy a go. So if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you dig that type of stuff, the link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you all in the next one.